Are you doing karate if you're not wearing pyjamas? Well, my first statement on that was, have you seen my pyjamas? <laughs> Nobody wants to see me do karate the way I go to bed. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, we don't even allow it in the bastard's house. <laughs> no, especially the bastard's Not kitchen. the bastard's kitchen. Definitely not the bastard's kitchen. kitchen. Health and safety. <laughs> yeah. But a gi is a very specific garment, isn't it? For roughly tufty purposes. Which is surprising, given that most people don't use it for that. No, that is true. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's very, you know, with the thick lapels and... and, 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 and yeah. Well, it, it's made... Robust. I know there are lightweight ones that just have the look, but the garment itself is made for grappling. Yeah. If you look at the original karate, nobody was wearing geese. Yeah. You know, you're lucky if they were wearing anything. They're basically stripped down to their underwear and training. Next seminar, everyone. And, but no, that is, are you doing karate if you're not wearing a gi? Well, karate never had a gi until it just came into Japan and copied judo. Exactly. Well, so, they just wants that <coughs> seminar, but he wants that it's, seminar. It's that, about it. <laughs> the, well, yeah, I've got to find a way to work it round to the oil Turkish wrestling seminar. Yeah. But, it's not a problem. No, leather trousers. I'm no. a big fan of oil. <laughs> but <laughs> but once, you get, once you get to that stage, you're saying, well, are you doing karate? What, with the Turkish wrestling and oil? With or? a pair of leather trousers and oiled up. Well, that is a question. You so, know, what is karate? Is karate the trappings of karate, or is it the functionality of karate? What we don't want to do is go into the what is karate conversation, so we'll be careful about that. Uh -huh. um, so, I did used to know a guy who, when we, so we used to train... We had a meeting room at work, mm -hmm. and we'd go and train there. And generally, you couldn't do a lot, you couldn't make a lot of noise, obviously. And so we'd just go, right, just, you know, trackies and a t-shirt or whatever. He would always turn up in the gee tops. He was like, no gee bottoms, just the gee top. He's like, I can't, I'm not, I, I don't feel I'm doing karate if I don't wear a gee top. And yeah, that was and that, that, interesting. That. Yeah, well, the reason that I find that it's like selling really expensive snappy geese, and it's a long time since we've covered that topic, it's because it's very easy to disguise poor technique in a gee. You can feel a lot better than you actually are. Well, look at the Hakama. You know, they keep you on that. They, it literally hides everything you're doing with your legs. Yeah, but it flows really nicely oh, nice. with the move. Yeah, but I was just saying, we, in, in the summer, kind of did that we, we wore a gi top but we was wearing shorts mm -hmm. um so initially we went shorts and t-shirt and we were still doing karate <laughs> people looking in might not have thought so but <laughs> we, we in our minds we were still doing karate so yes because it was so we had, we had some hot days in summer yes, so yeah so we said yeah anything over 20 degrees so we're being soft anything over 20 degrees we said there's a rule you can within reason no leather pants but you can wear what you want. <laughs> not that. Yeah. That's not, not very inclusive. Right? <laughs> well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no mankinis, no no leather pants. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, so we said, you know, anything over twenty degrees, wear what you want. So for the majority of the time, it's shorts and t-shirt. But then we were talking about the gi top. Yeah, as soon as we started gripping up t-shirts, you know, you're ripping, yeah, you're wrecking t-shirts. So I got into wearing. Um, I, I was mentioned earlier. Bought them off Mount. Sanchez Jones, he's, he's got some made up. Basically, they're just MMA shorts, is all, is all they are. Um, but they're white, so they match the gi top. I've got black MMA shorts, but you have to match. I don't like go. I like to be colour coordinated, you know. Yeah, so, but then I started wearing the MMA shorts with a gi top, and the functionality of that was, was, was fucking brilliant, you know. So in the summer, you're still feeling quite cool. Mate, even looking at it in my shorts, you know, getting the legs out. But one thing, because this was going to be part of a chat as well. One thing we didn't have, because I've got mats, I didn't have shoes on the mats. But other places I trained, so when I did the combatives, when we was in, um, in the MMA gym there, um, it was okay to wear footwear on the mats as long as it wasn't outdoor footwear. So it was specific gym it's shoes. Difficult. Yeah. Because I have trouble with the footwear thing, mainly because I've got bad circulation. And in the winter, you know, I can't feel my feet, which isn't ideal mm -hmm. and probably not particularly healthy and so I sort of think well what is it and we went to the dojo the other night which is basically a school badminton sports hall gym thing mm -hmm. and because they were doing something with the windows 
they got skylight window thing above and they got scaffolding up there at the moment there was shit everywhere mm -hmm. tried to find the bloke to get a broom couldn't find him we had to get a load of lost property uh, stuff from the lost property bit and sort of stretch it and then run up and down the dojo using the, the sweeping be like it's just dangerous sometimes depending yeah. on where you're training yeah so I, I've, I've started doing after school clubs now and, and so teaching teaching kids karate and a lot of them don't want to take their shoes off you know, or shoes and socks off yeah it's like well, you've got them doing karate and I was thinking well do we have to <laughs> and yeah. one of the things a lot of them are moaning because the, the, the school's been used all day you know so then mm -hmm. the floor is just covered in like they've used it for for the lunch break so it's got yeah. food problems yeah. so the floor is dirty and you know even myself you know at the end of it you're like rubbing all this dirt off your feet and i think why do we need to the only the only, the only argument i could have for not wearing shoes was if you're going to do some sparring and you're throwing some kicks in if you've got some bulk you're like you doc martin shoes on now you know you've got your walking boots on you know so that, i think you have to have sort of specific shoes that you could spy with. but i don't i don't have a problem with wearing shoes in yeah footwear I mean, as, and, that, and the flooring, if you've got a proper dojo that you get the students to clean before you start and all that bullshit, yeah. then it's not so bad, is it? But yeah. if you've got... If you're using a public space. Public space, yeah. yeah. Or, I mean, like the hall we've got today, the floor in there is just concrete with laminate over the top. Yeah, cold. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, and in winter, that was something he'd have you in yeah. no time. Exactly. And, which is, and if you're working really hard, it's not a problem. But as soon as you stop to teach a point or you talk about point kind and doing things, yeah. everyone can get cold quite quickly. You say that, but it works both ways, because Philip and I, structurally very similar, but when we were training on a regular basis, we train on a gym floor, not a bare floor, but in the summer, the sweat is running down you. Mm. And we've sort of synchronised falling over because our legs have slipped out from underneath us because the floor is dangerous because it's wet and slippery mm. in bare feet or condensation, yeah, yeah. exactly the same thing. Or oil. Uh, anything. <laughs> Cooking oil, really. Well, one of the, the oil. it's like Brian was saying when I was teaching the kids club last, um, we used to use the school hall, it was fine. They used to sweep it in theory, but it was also the hall that was used for lunchtime. Mm. And I mm. find with, well, in places we're training in mashed potato. Mm. Yeah. It's Which again, when we go do like great. the suju thing, mm -hmm. that's all part of it, yeah. and that is part of the experience, and everyone knows it. Mm -hmm. But for a regular class, that is not part of the experience, or shouldn't yeah. really be. Yeah. Part of the well, well, suju was fine footwear wise. What I found the first time I went there was the first we were doing rolling across the floor with a partner and back again. Is that when we finished for the talk afterwards? I then spent ten minutes pulling bits of broken glass. Yeah, from the exactly. Yeah. You know, all right, thick heavy sweatshirt, it wasn't any damage, but you wouldn't want to be doing that barefoot. Exactly. You know. Yeah. But what did, were we not doing karate anymore because of that? Well that's exactly. that's the thing, is that if you're physically doing exactly the same thing, why is what you're wearing? Why is the paraphernalia what makes it rather than the activity in itself? The only things I suppose are sports teams and they wear it because they're a team and they have to identify each other. No other activity. Yeah, but if Would they, you say if you're playing piano in the nude or in a gi or in a fucking eight leather pants, mm -hmm. obviously, you're still playing the piano. Yeah. The only ones that are different are when there is a reason to identify people. Yeah, which I, I think in karate, Yeah, I suppose it's just, it's one of those things that, you know, the old school just think you have to be wearing a gi, you know, it's, 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 this is karate. And I, I know there's um, Miguel Hark, I think his name is, from South Africa. He's always um, wearing trainers in his videos. And I think he's got some circulation problems. Well, some of it that, you know, means he, he, it's not comfortable for him to be barefoot. And he often gets comments on his videos, not about what he's doing, but, oh, it's not, you shouldn't be wearing shoes in the dojo. So the thing he couldn't wear shoes, if he, if he couldn't wear shoes, he couldn't do the karate. Are, you, are we going to turn around and say, this is the uh, bullshit timer, so we have to stop talking soon. Um, yeah, if... So are people saying to him, well, don't do karate then, mate, you've got to wear shoes, so fuck off. It's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, 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 they're just saying, yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't be wearing shoes in the dojo, remember? 
Yeah, and, there, and, and there's a certain mentality that goes to be honest, say where the trappings are more important. I'd say I don't want to put religion into it, but where the trappings, trappings are more important in, than yeah. the activity itself, yeah. then, yeah, it's become a different thing. So, exactly. to sum it up, if you're not wearing pyjamas, you're still doing karate. Yeah. <laughs>